Hi, I'm Nate and you're watching Photolaryngism. I wanted to show you how to make a transparent background in a GIF. <laughs> because this is actually a little more difficult than you think it might be. Now, I'm on Ubuntu. There's probably another tool out there that does this, but I fished around and this was the best way I could figure out how to do it. Uh, let's, let's see. All right. So digging right in here, I have been using tools, uh, open source tools that largely work around the concept of using FFmpeg. And it seems that when they rely on that, it doesn't have it baked in such that you can make a transparent background mm. in an animated GIF. You can do it with pings and you can animate them in other projects and there's ways to do that when you're using a video project or an image project. But in this case, if you happen to follow me on Rumble, this is a shameless plug, I've been doing a series on there. I'm making this game, very simple game using simple code and, and things that render in a browser. And I needed something where I could carry animation with a transparent background from one point to another. And to give you an example, I wanted this guy to move somewhere where I click. That part was simple enough. But I also needed an animation to play. Now, I finally solved that by figuring out how to make the background transparent of a GIF. Because in a web, really the best way I could think of using simple code and making this as simple as possible is you have to temporarily inlay a GIF with a transparent background to play the animation while it's in motion. <laughs> so to show you how I did it, couple of things here. Now, FFmpeg is mostly a command line based tool. It is free. It comes kind of packaged usually with other tools like Krita, like Caden Live. Um, so you may need to go download something if you want to know exactly where it is. It's called otherwise kind of buried deep inside of the uh, the installer, depending on which one you use of these tools. Um, but it's out there and it's easy enough to get. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you there's a very specific command where you actually can use FFmpeg after the fact to convert it. I can't find a way to do it during because you can actually put in custom scripts indicated live and things, but it doesn't work. And I think it just failed on the logic of it, depending on how it hands off the command. So you have to do it after the fact, but it does still work. So I had made an MOV file, which I'm going to try to open up here just with the big built in player, which does that. Now, I was able to do that easy enough in Caden Live. You can do that really in any motion compositing tool that allows you to create a keyframed action. Okay, Caden Live was the one I had available, so that's what I used. So I spat it out as an MOV just to kind of get it out as something. I was playing around with trying to get the alpha background, but that didn't pan out either. <laughs> um, so that's what I just to get it out as something. You could really use any format there. In the case of Ubuntu or Linux, you need to bring up terminal, but it's command prompt, it's CMD in Windows. And like you would in Windows, you do need to navigate to wherever your files are because the command depends on running it um, wherever you intend to put it. You could put a full destination, but it's just easier to jump there first. And these commands are the same regardless of whether or not you're on Windows or Linux, by the way. Um, but in this case, I need to hop in over to uh, where this is. So in Linux, you have to kind of start with the tilde and then you start driving into the destination. Home is replaced by that tilde slash. And I'm just gonna drop us into that directory, okay? And then the command, uh, which I will put in the description below, is this, all right? So this already knows that it's handing off to FFmpeg just by virtue of the command. Um, after you install it, it should add itself into the paths. Um, so it should work this way, but you may have to list the destination of FFmpeg. Just know that you may have some challenges there. It, it should work though. All right, so it's convert. <laughs> the delay is the amount of delay. And I do believe that this is actually in seconds um, because uh, changing this number between one and 15 makes a big difference. 15 is pretty slow, one's pretty quick. Um, I think one is the minimum value. So um, you can go higher, but the higher the number, the slower it gets essentially for the animation, okay? Uh, the dispose, the background, that actually is taking out the background. Um, I would keep it black if you can. That seems to work regularly and consistently well because I think it treats like an alpha. All right. And the loop is just a bool. It's a zero one, which in code terms is a yes or a no. <laughs> uh, if you wanted it to loop, that would need to be a zero. Um, 
just to keep it going. If you don't want it, one is a no, so it plays once and it ends, okay? That's how you use the loop command. This next piece here is what you are pulling, okay? Uh, and this is that file I mentioned that I created that I just played, all right? So you have to specify that, and I don't have to give the full path because I'm already in the directory. That's why this first instruction was, was necessary, okay? So it's nice and easy. Um, and then this next part is actually the file. Now you can't see them, but there's underscores there um, between these things. So this is the output that I'm making in this case. There we go. Um, that's the name. So the first thing is the file you're converting, you put a space, and then the next thing would be uh, where you want it to be. And it's going to assume, unless you put a path, that it's gonna drop wherever it is. That's another reason why this is easier just to kind of do this all in the same directory, okay? If there's gonna be spaces, you will need to encapsulate in quotes, I believe, um, but it is easier just to use underscores or dashes and keep it all as one contiguous name if possible. Okay, that's that. I know that was kind of a detailed, long-winded uh, dive into that, but that's how it works, all right? If that was helpful, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done that already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you at the next video.